The Medal of Science is the highest award the federal government can bestow on a scientist, engineer, or mathematician. Uh, it is given to by the President of the United States to a small number of individuals every year. I've always been aware of the National Medal of Science, and I never really said I dream of winning it because I didn't put myself in that class of the people. If I look at the list of the mathematicians and computer scientists and statisticians that have won that, I'm totally humbled. I look at it and I'm almost to the point of being so awed that embarrassed. I mean, you know, John Tukey, uh, uh, Norbert Wiener, uh, just, the names are just phenomenal. Paul J. Cohen, okay. And I'm, because I am Mexican-American and we're very humble people and you know, in, in some sense. And my mother taught us to be that. So I look and being put in that class of people and I go, I don't understand this. I think they made a mistake, okay? They must have made a mistake. In Richard's case, he's being recognized for his professional work in optimization theory and, and uh, computer science, uh, as well as his contributions to uh, ensuring that women and underrepresented minorities uh, can also establish their careers in those areas. There weren't a lot of uh, Hispanic or minority mathematicians or scientists in general where I was growing up, so I always knew that I wanted to pursue physics. I uh, knew that I wanted to go to graduate school, but didn't have a role model, an example that, you know, showed me that it was possible and to reach it at a high level. And having Dr. Tapia, as he did, you know, he's reached university professor here. Other individuals who've done that have been Nobel Prize winners. And so just knowing that someone from where I grew up from has been able to reach such a high level um, of success at, in academia, you know, assures me that I'll be able to do the same. A lot of my colleagues in the department were, were women uh, and you know I saw them come and some of them go and and you know he does everything he can to help all students whether they are minorities, underrepresented minorities or they're women or really anybody that needs somebody to stand up for them and help them through the hard times. It's always great to have our scientists recognized and, and lately they've been recognized in all different kinds of ways. We've had Nobel Prize winners, National Academy members, people who've won various prizes. But I think this is an especially important award because it really speaks to the impact and influence and dedication of somebody really beyond their, f their field. Uh, Richard's had that kind of impact. He's had that impact at Rice. He's the person really who has made Rice a leader in providing STEM opportunities to people from uh, minority backgrounds, for example. So it's a great recognition. I think that recognition helps the world really to know what we've accomplished at Rice and accomplished in large part because of the contributions of Richard Tapia. I showed my wife that the responses from, for example, from the president, from the provost, and from the dean, all started with wow. They all started with wow. They went wow, 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 okay? So I guess I had to say wow. So apparently the word to describe this is wow, okay? And I would say wow, I never thought it would happen. I am extremely happy. To me this is an outstanding point. 